In this video, we will create a simple Hello World application using Qt Widgets. Qt Widgets is the ideal technology for traditional desktop applications. At the end of the tutorial, you will have a basic familiarity with Qt Creator. The first step is to launch Qt Creator. On Windows, this can be done through the Start menu. Once Creator is open, you'll see the welcome screen. From here, we can create or open projects and run examples and tutorials. Let's create a new project. Click on the New Project button. The New Project dialog will appear, giving us a lot of different project templates. The Qt Widgets application template should be selected by default, but if it's not, select it and then click on the Choose button. Now we're looking at the Qt Widgets application wizard, which will guide us through the process of creating a Qt Widgets project. The first thing we need to do is give the project a name. This will be used as both the name of the project directory and the project file itself, so it cannot contain spaces. Let's name it Hello Widget World, separated by hyphens. Now we need to choose where the project will be created. The default location is usually good enough, but feel free to change it to a place that works for you. If you want to use that location for future projects, you can check the Use as Default Project Location checkbox. Click Next. Next up is the Kit Selection step. Qt Creator will automatically detect any Qt versions that you chose with the installer. We only have one Qt version installed, so we can click Next. Note that you can go back to an earlier step in the wizard by clicking the back arrow in the top left corner of the dialog. The next step allows us to choose what kind of class will be generated. Let's stick with the defaults and click Next. Finally, we're given a summary of how our project will look based on our choices so far. There are also options to add the project as a sub-project of another project, and an option to add the project to version control. Click Finish. Our project has been generated, and now we're looking at mainwindow.cpp in the editor. Qt Creator has several modes, all of which can be seen on the left-hand side of the window in the Mode Selector. The easiest way to begin creating applications is to use Design Mode, which allows us to visually drag and drop items into place. Currently, Design Mode is not available, as we don't have the correct type of file open. In the Projects pane at the top left corner of the window, expand the Forms item. Double-click on MainWindow.UI to enter Design Mode. We are now looking at our application's main window form. Let's add a button. On the left hand side of the window, there is a list of user interface objects called the widget box. Find the button section and drag a push button onto the form. In the top right corner of the window, you can see the hierarchy of objects in the form. This is called the object inspector. Below it sits the property editor. This contains detailed information about the selected object. Each section contains properties from the relevant class that this object derives from. Let's change the text of the button by scrolling down to the Q Abstract Button section. Double click on the Push Button text and type in Push Me. Hit Enter to confirm the changes. Notice that the button's text on the form has changed. Now let's add a label. You can scroll down the widget box to find label, or you can use the filter at the top. Let's use the filter. Type in label, and drag and drop it onto the form, just above the button. Resize the label so that it's at least as wide as the button. We use the property editor to change the button's text, but it's also possible to double click on an item with text to change it. Double click on the label and press backspace to remove the text, and then enter to confirm the changes. If you click on the form outside of the label, you'll see that the label is now invisible. There are a couple of ways to find and select the label. 
The first way is to click and drag on the form above the button. The second way is to use the object inspector by clicking on the label. Now we're going to give the button some behavior. When the button is clicked, we'll set the text of the label. Switch to edit mode by clicking on the edit button in the mode selector. In the projects pane, expand the headers item. Double click on mainwindow.h to open it. Notice that there is a private member variable called UI declared here. This is an instance of the generated class that defines our form. Through it, we can access the objects that we created. Above the private keyword, insert two new lines by hitting enter twice. Type in public slots, followed by a colon. Hit enter to insert another new line, and then type void on button clicked, followed by a semicolon. We've just declared a public slot. A slot is more or less like any function in C++, so we must give it a definition. Right click anywhere within the text of the function declaration, and click on refactor in the context menu. Then select add definition in mainwindow.cpp. We're then taken to mainwindow.cpp, where an empty definition for the on button clicked slot has been added. Type in the following code. This sets hello world as a text for the label. The tr function returns a translated version of the string that we pass in. It's a good idea to use this for strings that will be visible to the end users of your application, as it makes translating it to different languages much easier. Let's run our application to see what it does so far. Click the run button, the green play icon, in the lower left of the window. A dialog will appear, asking us what should be done about the unsaved files we've been working on. For the changes we've made to be visible when running the application, we have to save them. We want this to happen automatically, so check the Always Save Files Before Build checkbox, and then click Save All. Now that the application has started, click on the button. Nothing happens, because our on button click slot is not called yet. Close the application and add two new lines at the end of the main window constructor. Type in the following code. Note that you can use creator's auto-completion suggestions by pressing enter. This is a signal slot connection. We connect the click signal of the button to the on button click slot of the main window class, which we refer to using the this pointer. Run the application again. This time, when we click the button, the text of the label changes to hello world. <laughs> 